Off the coast of Chichijima, Lieutenant George Bush was facing the grim reality of being shot down at sea. He had managed to bail out of his burning Avenger and was floating in the life raft, but the tides were carrying him slowly toward the Japanese-held island. During bailout, he'd injured his head, and in splashdown, his rations of fresh water and raft paddles had been lost. Worse still, there were no signs of his two crewmen. His situation was grave, but Bush was not completely alone. Flying above him, Avenger pilot Doug West saw Bush was bleeding from the head and dropped him a medical kit. Then West and Bush's wingman, Milt Moore, saw Japanese gunboats heading from the island towards their stranded companion. The two Avengers strafed the boats and drove off Bush's would-be captors. Meanwhile, Commander Melvin issued a prearranged rescue call. Running low on fuel, the planes made one final pass over Bush, then headed back to the San Jacinto. At 9.30 a.m., the USS Finback, on lifeguard duty around Chichijima, heard the call from Bush's CO, Donald Melvin. The waters around Chichijima were mined, making rescue maneuvers for the sub dangerous. She steamed carefully away towards Bush's location, and after a brief search, a yellow raft was sighted. At 11.56, the sub pulled alongside Bush and hauled him aboard. On deck, Ensign Bill Edwards, the Finback's photographic officer, recorded the rescue on film. After three hours at sea, Bush's ordeal was over. He had been one of the lucky ones. Tragically, his two crewmen, Ted White and John Delaney, were listed as missing in action. Like so many others, they made the ultimate sacrifice.